This is DigitalToolsForArchitects.com Photoshop 1.7 uh, Stitching Panoramas in Adobe Photoshop. And that's a bit of a misnomer. This is actually stitching a group of images in Photoshop. Stitching a full 360 degree panorama is a bit challenging in Photoshop. It can do a single, uh, single set of images uh, in the full 360, but not a full 360 in both directions. Uh, so really what we're going to be doing uh, is stitching a small group of images together. And this is an automatic action in Photoshop. So in order to do that, we're going to go up to the File menu here. We're going to go to Automate, and then Photo Merge. And when we select Photo Merge, the Photo Merge dialog box comes up. And we'll go ahead and browse for our images. And I have a group of images here that I've selected. Uh, it's five images total. Photoshop handles small groups of images really, really well. Um, now I'm going to leave the layout set to auto and let Photoshop determine the layout uh, for me so I don't have to worry about it, which I think is generally a good strategy. Um, if I had vignetting in my images, I would go ahead and click the vignette removal uh, dialog box here, or checkbox. Uh, likewise, if I had uh, major geometric distortions, I would also check that box. Uh, these were shot with the panoramic rig, so they're pretty good images to begin with. So we'll go ahead and uh, leave those together. So we'll go ahead and say OK. And this will start the photo merge process. Um, Adobe will, will attempt to align the images um, based on their content. And uh, we'll wait for that progress to, to continue here. Um, and since this is an automated action, it's just really it's not too hard to try it out. Um, and I would encourage you to, to play around with a few images. It also does really well for images that are shot by hand that are not perfect panoramas. Um, so in this instance, we've gone ahead and we've stitched our images together. We get our final result in Photoshop. Let me use Control Plus here uh, to zoom in so that we can see that the image is, in fact, in pretty good uh, condition. Now, I, from here, I would probably go through and do some post-processing of my images. Um, we can use any of the tutorials that we've already gone through. So Photoshop 1.2 would adjust the levels. Photoshop 1.3, we could adjust curves. Photoshop 1.4, we could uh, make the image pop a little bit more, give a little bit more color uh, to the image. Photoshop 1.5, uh, we could dodge and burn uh, the sky and selectively darken or lighten parts of this image. Um, and we could move on from there. We could also use layer blending modes, um, which is Photoshop 1.24, uh, if you wanted to use some blending modes to enhance the image as well. Um, you can also see here that we have our, our images that have a mask assigned to them. Um, the nice thing, since this is an automatic action, Photoshop went ahead and did this uh, masking for us. Uh, so we didn't actually have to do it. But if you're interested in masking, you could view Photoshop 1.10. Uh, that would be manually adding these kinds of, of masking to each layer. Uh, so we can see as we click through that this is um, a variety of images that have been stitched together, uh, giving us a nice uh, seamless image on the whole. So that is Photoshop 1.7, um, stitching panoramas together using the Photoshop Photo Merge uh, tool.